Tommy Friday, Tommy Friday, I'm so glad it's Tommy Friday. Tommy Friday, Tommy Friday, Tommy Friday, Tommy Friday, Tommy, 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 Tommy Friday, Tommy Friday. <laughs> Welcome to Susu and the Wolfman, yes. and we are recording. Will this be the first video in years that I haven't sang the start recording song? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe Christmas. Should we fix that? No. Do you think it, that I should not sing it for like the first yeah, time? Hmm. She did tell me Friday. Sing. Start recording. Start recording. It's time for us to start recording. Bones is back in action. It's like Tourette's with her. It's His really... head fell off. Yeah, it did. My brother John fixed it. So, yeah, we had a surgeon come and fix his head. So, Bonesy's back in action. But I can't remember which video it was where in the middle of the song, Bonesy went like this and just fell out of the chair. I think it was either my channel or Paul's right. It was our channel. Our channel, yeah. Yeah. And uh, so, and then, and then I don't know how. broke his neck off, remember? Yes. His neck when the part of his neck that he just slid down his side was broken off completely. Yeah. Yeah, so. so I was carrying around his head like a football. I was holding, <laughs> he was holding his head like poor York. In his hands. It was much easier to take him with us when all we had to do was yeah. just grab the skull. But anyway, he got it reassembled. And today, looking forward today to listening to Tommy give us a little information. Yes, um, not saying it today. Yeah, it's a behind the scenes. Everybody, Can oh, I goodness. Your dogs are doing that. Oh, uh, the dog is behind the yeah, floors are. Well, everybody um, likes to see some behind the scenes stuff. I like behinds. I like to see behind the scenes stuff and like the making of and sure. stuff. So uh, let's watch. I'm excited. Right, Ray. Let's see. Do you want to make a bet um, if I will be smiling and happy while I watch this? I'm not taking that bet because you will be. Bet that I will, but, I'm but you could do a long shot and bet that I won't. And then for one video, I pretend I wasn't, and nobody so would know what was wrong money, with me. Which... They'd be like, Sue got really bad news. She wasn't happy during a Tommy video. Right, here we go. Ready? Uh -huh. Hello everybody! Hello. As you can see, it's not going to be a new music video this very Friday. The main reason for that is because we've been working so hard to record the new album with Majestica, which started to sound absolutely amazing. But it's taking a lot of time, so instead of doing something stressful and very fast and something that I may not be proud of and something that you guys may not like, I decided to do a behind the scenes video instead. So I'm gonna take a little bit behind the scenes of the last three music videos I did. Rövarsången and Fattig Bondräng, three very famous Swedish songs that we usually listen to around summertime. So the story of these videos may not be very clear, but I had fun making them anyway. One guy, he's walking close to a mountain. And all of a sudden, poof, he finds a guitar lying there. He takes the guitar, puts it on an altar, and that awakens some kind of midsummer uh, troll, ogre, spirit, something that wants his guitar back so he can go around and spread the joy of summer. And he also has a leopard jacket for some reason. Filma, så då håller den jättestill nu. Och sen när jag har gått iväg. Det blir nog bra. Så han är ute på sin eterna quest att hitta den här gitarren. To be able to play some summer songs. And he sees these two guys sitting there playing the Swedish song Fattig Bondräng. And just like every other Swede, he knows the song. So he joins in for a verse. <laughs> And then he walks away. You men who long 
for love You mustn't all despair There's a secret you should know To capture the heart of the fair You may not have the looks You may not have the dash But you win yourself a good If you only got a mustache A mustache, a mustache To continue his eternal quest The search of the majestic guitar So he finds the guitar Picks it up and then he play and sing the song Rövarsången from the movie Ronja Rövardotter. Ja. A story written by the most famous child author in Sweden called Astrid Lindgren who also wrote Emil i Lönneberga from uh, which the song Fattig Bondräng comes from. He then takes his guitar and disappear into the forest like some kind of midsummer ghost and travel around in the woods and uh, that's the end of the saga. And who knows, maybe he will return next year with the same jacket. We'll see about that. All right, here I'm standing kind of in the woods, uh, just filmed the end of the last video of this trilogy uh, thing I'm doing uh, this guy he's walking down the hill why is a guy dressed in a leopard shirt playing a blue guitar <laughs> because that's what we do in Sweden I had a lot of fun recording these music videos <laughs> And I had a great crew with me who helped me film and uh, provide me with all the help that I needed to make these videos possible. So a big thank you to the wonderful crew who made this possible. And also a big thanks to Kim Arvidsson for singing the choir parts on the song Rövarsången. And if you don't know who Kim Arvidsson is, it's this guy. It's pretty good. And I also want to take the time to thank my dear drone, the DJI Mini Pro 3. Tiny Tim, I called him. He uh, crashed into a tree and drowned into the river during the <laughs> recording of Nervinna Naviska Mitt Namn. So I had to buy a new one. A better one. So we had to go back to Nyfors and re-record some of the footage because it was destroyed. <laughs> And I also got some great footage from uh, Värmland and other parts here in Stockholm. So thanks for watching guys and thanks for supporting me here on YouTube. If you do like my videos, you can always subscribe to my channel. Uh, there will be new videos every Friday as always. And I wish you all a great summer or as we say here in Sweden. Ha nu en riktigt glad sommar. And also I bought a new guitar. Oh. The units in midi. Okay. So he's just going to say that at the end, we barely got to see yeah. it. It looked like a black um, matte finish. Yeah, nice. Did you think? Yep. Just so a tell, little teaser. So tell me, was I missing something? I'm moving around. I thought he said three videos. He did. He did a trilogy like the for three remember, Fridays in a row. We, we did those. But on his video, when he showed how I made him, uh -huh. I only recognized the two. How do you make the third one? Oh, I guess he didn't put that in there. <clears throat> okay. I don't remember how different the third one was. Yeah, I, I just remember enjoying all three of them, and all three of them had such beautiful scenery. And Tommy can take technology and like make it professional, yeah. man. Yeah. You know, I bet he started with stuff that was not a major, major, high quality equipment, but he could make it work. Like, and then like he, me. yeah, and he just, but I mean, to be able to make yeah, videos so like that, videos. he produces those, he films those. He's quite talented, and he's, hey, to me, he's, an, he's one of the next big things in the U.S. We got, we got like, the warning coming up from Mexico. We got a couple of cool people. But if he ever makes it over here, really, he'll make it big, no question. Uh, he came with Sabaton, but, you know, again, he was part of Sabaton. Yeah, and um, Majestica, band, but... Majestica is his baby, and they hopefully will tour the U.S. maybe opening for someone. They're not big enough yet to be their own thing. Right. 
But, you know, we we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. But I love watching the behind the yeah. scenes. And it was so funny, you know, the part where there's like three Tommies. And I always oh, say, oh, I didn't know that his other triplets were going to be in the video, you know? I like the, uh, I like the songs, too. The yes. songs speak to me. They're, they're simple and they're melodic, melodic and a lot of harmony. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we miss that a lot of times, and especially rock and roll stuff. We're so concerned with the leads and the lines and stuff. We, we miss all the real fat harmonies and simple, supposedly kind simple of Simple melodies and yeah. fat harmonies and... Um... The I I know who Kim Arvidson is because we've covered him before. Yeah. He is Tommy's brother-in-law. Yeah. Um, married to his sister Kristen, I believe, and he has Kristen's name tattooed on him, and I guess mm -hmm. his other sister as well. But anyway, um, so when Kim did the choir backings in that one song, which I think was not this, it, it was last week or the one before. I think it was the one before. They were strong. Oh, yeah. They were powerful, and oh, I thought yeah. that was cool that he gave his brother a little bit of props, yeah. you know. Yeah, um, the people who don't know who he is, you know, should, because he's a force to be reckoned with. Oh, and yeah. Now, I'm going to say he's no Tommy, though. All of the, the things that we react to from that area of the world, you should check out. He may not like them all, but we, you know, we, we do Majestic, we do Tommy, we do Kim's bands, we do who else, and we do up that way. In the Norway countries. Well, we do Finnish. Um, yeah, but, but Netherlands. Name, name uh, well, Nightwish with yeah, Temptation. Nightwish yeah, check those out if you haven't already. Yeah. Do, you'll, you'll be surprised. Especially if you're old rock and rollers like we are. Yeah. Yeah. But yes, yeah, Sweden props. I would love to go to Sweden in the summertime because it sounds like they just yeah. have a great. Um, a festive June. We should go down because it's like 190 degrees. Like... Yeah, I bet it's cooler in Sweden. I don't know. I thought I it was cold so. all year round, and then someone told me they do have warm weather. Yeah, but well, warm and subjective. Right? Subjective, yeah. Subjective. Yeah. They've always been fully clothed in the videos in Sweden, so I, I assume it's not that hot for swimsuit weather or something. <laughs> Did you like watching this, what Tommy said about the way you made the video? Because I did. I did a lot. It was great. Yeah. And he's such a personable guy. He's, he's all, almost baby-like. He's childlike. He is. In a way. In the same way, um, in, in a way that Tuomas is, is, they both have this childlike spirit. And Tommy's is for the 80s and 90s. That's all of his. Um, yeah. And he just loved Back to the Future and all these yeah, things. The Gremlins. Yeah. 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 And um, has all kinds of figurines. And he needs to do a dustardening because he has just a garage full of boxes of collectibles. Yeah, he does. Tommy's time for dustardening. <laughs> he could probably afford just to build a bigger house. Well, that's true. Get a bigger house and display all of them. You know what? Do what you want. It's your life. I think distodding might be a good idea. <laughs> I think we need to do a distodding. Well, I've been working. I've been cleaning she stuff has, out for Goodwill and doing some distodding. Uh, you should see. I find a pair of pants that I wore like the last time I wore them was ten years ago. Excuse <laughs> me. Do I need though, that? You should see my closet. Distodding. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, we love you. Yes. Guys. Thank you so much for watching us. If you liked our video, please give us a thumbs up. Share with your friends. Leave us some comments. Hit the notification bell. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. We would love to have you come along. Yeah. So until we see you again, be blessed. Hey, don't hurt anybody. And look at Boo in the background. Where? Oh, there he is. There's our Boo Boo. Poor old guy. <laughs>